Yes, hi there. Uh, today we are going to see in this video how to insert data inside the table. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to expand the database object. I have my training DB here. Inside tables, I have my employee table. And to see the content or to query the content of this table, I just right click on it and uh, click on this select top 1000 rows and after that the result will be so just to wait a few seconds uh, so that the query is executed and we see here that we queried uh, the top 1000 rows and it gives us two rows which are uh, the rows contained inside the table actually we can remove this and we execute it another time I execute it here and you see the result is always two rows what I'm gonna do there is this is there is a rather a little trick so I know that uh, the, the columns that will be in the insert statement will be all these columns except the ID which is a key so now the statement will be insert into my table I'm gonna bring it here from here I can choose all this you know so I'm gonna choose all this I move this here so I'm gonna insert into training DB which is the database and the DBO is the schema inside this database the employee is the table so the syntax is insert into this and here I'm gonna specify all the columns that will participate in this insert so I need all of them and by the way we can use a subset of them uh, in the insert statement see here I have the postal code and then the programs the salary the age and the department so here I have half of the, the statement so insert into this table and here the syntax will continue with the keyword values and I provide the values and I have a little trick also here is to copy all this and to put them here not to miss any any column so here I need the first name so the first name which is a bar char I'm gonna put this the last name will be this and the address first address will be I'm gonna put something it's fictive, you know, so nice some dry address two. I don't need address two, so suppose that this employee has have uh, just this address, have just one line of address. Uh, after that, see here, I don't okay we need the city so we're gonna put sorry okay I'm not just use it to this keyboard Montreal the postal code will be H one will be two C seven the province of Montreal is uh, just sorry for this. So 
so Quebec and the salary I'm gonna give to this guy a salary of 55k his age is 25 years old and he works on the, in the department or inside the department too so here is my syntax for the insert it's insert into and into the table I can I can write down all the whole like uh, it's like a path to the to this table so we I, I uh, start sorry by training DB after that schema after that the table the target table so here the, the first half is to provide all the columns needed for this insert after that the values keyword and here all the values and now I hit the execute button and you see here there is one row affected or one row inserted now I return back to my DBO uh, employee I select again uh, 1000 rows and you see here that now we have three rows and this is the new ro row Rob Wilkins this is address 1 uh, address 2 city postal code province salary age and department you notice here that uh, the engine gave this uh, employee the ID 3 because the ID is uh, is a primary key. Now there is a good practice, you know, for the query return back to the query actually here. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save it. So save. We can choose, you know, uh, like a folder or subfolder where to save our queries. I have this one actually database SQL 2012 I'm going to create here a folder I call it TSQL and here the final step is I call this query insert into a salary table and it will have the extension .sql save and that's fine I saved my my query I can uh, if if needed I can load it actually I can uh, this is because this is the good thing about this I can close this the window I can close the other one and here open file I go back to my folder this one tsql I have my uh, query and you see it appears here so this is about this lesson and I thank you and have a good day